What's up you guys, Avery here and welcome to a bit of a different video. We are actually talking about chain burn, which we haven't done in four to five years. <laughs> so what inspired this video was the fact that I have had uh, numerous numbers of people coming to me in my comment section and sending me emails and messages, all that kind of stuff, saying, Avery, talk about chain burn, talk about chain burn and blah, 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 blah. Well, for those of you who are newer to the channel, really, I got a decent following four, five, six plus years ago because I was constantly covering chain burn. I had a perfecting the chain burn series. I was constantly talking about chain burn because that was sort of my niche. And it was funny because I hated the deck. I still hate the deck. Uh, um, but it was how I got my niche following because, you know, no one else who covers the meta is going to be talking about chain burn or burn decks in general. And so I wanted to kind of put this to bed because as sad as it is, there is a positive future, right? And so this is actually the last burn deck that topped some time ago. Um, and this is really the last quote unquote pure chain burn deck that we have had in quite some time, um, which brings up the bigger discussion as a whole about chain burn itself. Here is the issue with chain burn. Chain burn as a whole is just a dead concept, right? The idea of using accumulated fortune, chain strike, balance of judgment, stuff like that just doesn't work in 2022 Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. The best way to play Burn is with Mystic Mine and Cauldron of the Old Man and using Field Barrier to protect the Mystic Mine. At the same time, if you play that kind of deck, you know, you have to watch out for the Adventure Engine. If you play Chain Burn, like what a lot of people did when Mystic Mine first came out, then you would play Mystic Mine with Field Barrier and a bunch of other Burn cards. But yet, it's strictly better to play a deck like Mystic Mind Burn, where you have Cauldron as your win condition or final countdown, depending on your build, and then other cards to protect your Mystic Mind, such as Dark Bribe, Solemn Judgment, things like that. You know, a typical Chain Burn deck, let's say for example, maybe can go 50 miles an hour, but whereas the much more perfected Mystic Mind Cauldron Burn strategy can go 100 miles an hour. So if you want the best chance of winning in Yu-Gi-Oh, are you going to play the deck that's worse than the best version or are you going to play the best version? You're going to play the best version. And unfortunately, Chain Burn just doesn't have a spot in Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. It's way too damn slow. You know, Ojama Trio and Duo were cool when Mystic Mind first came out, but now you have better cards. You know, we moved on to DD Guide. Now we've moved on to Silent Wobby. You know, even looking at this build here, like, this is from months and months ago. This is clearly before the Brave Engine was out. You know, the Brave Engine just says F you with Dracoback. It says F you with Griffin Rider. I mean, it's it's just bananas broken. And Chainburn just doesn't stand a chance in today's meta. And, you know, that's why I haven't really talked about the deck in years because it's it's just a bucket of shit. I'm sorry, but it really is. And as someone who's a competitive player like myself and wants the best chance possible at winning, and I'm going to play the best deck I possibly can that fits my play style, then I'm going to play something like Flunderies or Sword Soul or even Branded because those are the decks I like to play. Burn doesn't stand a fucking chance. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't. Like, if you're playing this type of deck, this build in particular in 2022, yeah, you're going to pants some people, but like Magic Cylinder is not going to go off because of Draco Bag. Uh, you're not going to get off evenly matched because it's like they've got Griffin Rider. You're not even playing Mystic Mine in this build. Like there is just so many other ways that you can build a burn deck that's just strictly better than this. And even in, as uh, if I could talk today, I'm trying to think of the words to say, even with just a straight chain burn deck, right? Like chain strike and accumulated fortune just doesn't do it anymore keep in mind too we got shit like red reboot that has come back into the format so you're gonna try and pop off with your set five back row with your chains and shit and someone's just gonna fuck you over with a red reboot and you're gonna lose because of it sorry but i don't want to lose to a one of red reboot that with my dog water luck the opponent is always going to have and you know, a lot of people say, oh, it's a damn shame and, and all that. Like, it's it's still a fun casual deck. And it's like, you know, if you want to play it casually or at locals or something, yeah, that's cool. It's just, if you're a competitive player like me, which, I mean, I'm always going to be a competitive player. I might post casual decks from time to time, but I am a competitive player. That's just who I am. I'm not going to be playing this deck or covering it 
when it just doesn't stand a chance. You know, imagine if I try to do a chamber net profile. I guarantee you what people are going to say in the comments is, why don't you just play a straight Mystic Mind Burn deck? Because everybody and their mama knows that straight Mystic Mind Burn with Cauldron is just strictly better. So, guys, I just wanted to make this bit of a discussion video. I've got family coming in, so I'm not really going to have time to post this weekend, but I still wanted to give you something to uh, to watch and enjoy. Um, you know, it's it's sad to say that Chain Burn is dead, but, you know, that's the way of Yu-Gi-Oh! And if you want to try out this particular build, feel free to copy and have fun. This is from, like, months ago. So, <laughs> I'm just telling you now, it's probably not going to be all that viable because Griffin Rider stops Battle Fader and Scarecrow. Um, so, yeah. But, guys, please, let me know what you think in the comments below. Am I totally wrong? Am I totally right? I don't know. Maybe there's just something I'm totally missing. But to me, if you're not playing Mystic Mind and you're playing a burn deck, you're just doing it wrong, pimp. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.